Hello YouTubers, Zeltrax Millennium back with a review, vlog, or an unboxing. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Hello YouTubers, Zeltrax Millennium here. Um, I'm back for a new review, though this guy has given me a lot of trouble. You see, at the end of the Thunderstorms Megazord review, he popped in and he heard me talk about how his blame pop out things were meh and so he attacked me and knocked over the camera before I before I was able to stop the camera so yeah I got a couple of wounds on my head which I do not want to show you because it would actually hurt I also got a soda so that way I can both get myself a drink and heal my wound a bit good stuff excuse me so now let's take a look at Animated Snarl since he won't leave me alone. So I guess you can count this as another part of Day of the Dino. So yeah, let's take a look at Snarl. Well, actually, it's kind of two ways with this name. Um, Snarl was another one of the Dinobots, but his original G1 name was Slag. The Triceratops. And I cannot remember which one Slag was, though I think it was like... The, Dim the Dimetrodon, or the Brachiosaurus. I can't tell who it was. So, sorry. I can't remember. But yeah, Snarl. I might go back and forth between Slag and Snarl. Who knows? So yeah, Slag's Triceratops mode is wonderfully represented here from the uh, animated cartoon. And um, a lot of details are nice, though. You'll kind of see why this is like that in a bit. And why the uh, toy... Um, the bit right here looks a bit shiny. Um, I actually painted quite a bit on this guy because it really needed the paint. So I gave, I repainted the top of his head a little bit with the uh, Games Workshop Gold. And then I used a stick Autobot sticker that I made to put that on top of his head. So, yeah. Excuse me about that, I had the burp. Anywho. Articulation-wise, it's not really that great. And oh, look at that. The uh, Grimlock review just uh, just finished saving on my camera. I'll let that out. Anywho, his articulation, it's okay. There are a few things that you have to do. Like, this bit right here is kind of like the elbows for the... It's kind of like the elbows thing, but... It's not really good. Tail doesn't move. Legs don't go any forward. I mean, you can do that. Like, bend his knee. But that's about it. His, uh, nose can move, I guess. His mouth can open, ridiculously. And his horns can move a little. Otherwise, that is about it. Robot mode time! Now we have Animated Snarl in Robot Mode. Now his Robot Mode actually looks good. But that's before you try and do anything with the articulation of this guy. I mean, the articulation is a little bit meh. There, I said it, meh. Deal with it, Snarl. Anywho, his articulation is, um, his, his forearms can go out that far, but not his entire arm because of the huge blocks. I just broke that thing for a second. <clears throat> Join the, the joints on this thing are really, really tight. And such like that. Um, his elbows are a little weird. They only do that, and they don't really serve much of a purpose. So, again, what is the point? He gains a knee... He gains knees, which are... Actually, kind of good, but let me get to the one. Let me get to one thing I don't like about this toy, is that his his, his back part doesn't want to close. 
I don't know if that was on mine or any of the other snarls that came out, but this happens all the flippin' time. I'm actually thinking about getting some tape and actually reinforcing that so it stays closed. Yeah, and I completely forgot to do this. You're supposed to turn this around. You're supposed to turn this bit around with his tail and then split it apart. I completely forgot to do that. So now it completes the look. A little better. So, yeah. Um, I did repaint his entire head, and I'm getting this guy as close as possible. Let me readjust. As you can see, I did paint this guy a whole lot, and the Triceratops head is actually catching the camera lens. Hello! Yeah. I did actually paint this guy's head all the way. Um, I used the Depthus Battle Gray from Games Workshop to, co to color the whole head. Because his light piping was orange. But his eyes were painted blue. Get it straight! Either choose orange or blue! Get it right! Ugh. I also colored in the little collar that he's got in black and gold, which looks nice. Whoops, almost made the camera drop again. So, yeah. In terms of accessories, he does come with this little thing. Um, originally, it was like a big orange Cheeto kind of thing. It was supposed to rep represent his magma club, but it just looked like a huge Cheeto. So I just used a little bit of black and just went over all these spots to make it actually look like a magma club. Anywho, his, he can hold it much like uh, Grimlock, though it's kind of hard. Let me see. Mm. There we go. Make him hold it. So yeah, animated snarl. Eh. Recommended if you can if you're a fan of the Dinobots, which more than likely you are. And I only wanted I wanted to get this guy because I was missing one of the Dinobots and I'm still looking for a swoop. So if anybody's selling a swoop for cheap, let me know. So Trix Millennium, signing out, good luck, and let's hope that no other dinosaur transformers beat me down. Later.